Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Love. Now, born of stories around fire storytelling as uh, legendary in indigenous communities across the world. Well, it is this inspiration that uh, Philip Ducot, our award-winning performer and author, takes his one-man comedic crusade, Jokes for Sale, to venues across Southern Africa. He joins us now as well as the producer, Machamela Mutlong. Guys, good morning. Welcome to Morning Love. Good morning. Yeah, good okay. morning. So you guys had a show on Thursday? No, yesterday. Yesterday. How was yes. it? What's good? Those rockers, people from Alex were very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> but they need support, you know? Yeah. That's just people from Alex. Was it just people from Alex? Uh, yeah. yeah, we could have loved to see people from Santon. Yeah. yeah. They couldn't make it across the road just too far. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> 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 and it's dangerous. Yeah. Well, the okay. rats. Why yeah. jokes for sale? Why the title jokes for sale? Uh, simply because I think that's what the concept of comedy mostly is all about, mm -hmm. actually. But mostly, it's, I don't like using quoting ways of saying things so yeah. i'll just put it plainly that these are jokes for saying yeah yeah okay and you guys start, uh, you were on yesterday and you're at the Joburg theater well, was, speak to us about the construction of the show i mean what does it look like for somebody who wants to attend um, i mean i mean the show is very off the cuff um i was i, was, I heard you guys talking about casting uh, yeah. there's casting yeah uh it's off the cuff it's social commentary it's uh issues about now but, but at the same time, is a brave way of uh, transporting comedy into black communities. For some reason, black people don't laugh. I, it's <laughs> like, too serious, <laughs> you know? So, so I mean, we've, we travel so far to go and see comedy to Monte Cassini. It's far, Monte Cassini. Yeah. There's no taxis that yeah. go there. But people go, you know? Uh, so the, the, when the idea came up, um, it was just madness. And Philip said, you know, you guys say, you want to produce here's an idea and 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 i thought why not we come from a community uh, and and people think we don't work yeah. because they see rent is on time but they never see us go to work oh, yeah. <laughs> so so the idea was let's take it to them yeah uh, let's sell them something and and it was important for us to go into an area where nobody has gone to take it into townships, into community rural. that are rural, rural. Well. well i don't know if they'll ever be formally rural, but yeah. we are going, uh, we are deliberately avoiding Petersburg and going to Mankwing, avoiding Cape Town and going to Delft, mm. uh, avoiding Santin and going to Alex. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, try and sell it to the people who normally wouldn't go and buy comedy. The people who make the jokes. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. people who you get your, so <laughs> the, yeah. your sauce. Well, the people who <laughs> eat the chicken. And <laughs> I, mean, so I, I, I remember you had a one man show at the Soweto Theatre. Yes. Then I didn't even know there was a comedy side to you when did you discover that well you know in addition to being an actor I, you know, I started too. off as a comedian yeah first before I do I, I went into acting and that's where I was discovered as an actor and I worked for a while as an actor and a writer but I wanted to go back to my roots for a yeah. moment you know just to touch back because I think as much as we tell sad stories and real stories that provoke thoughts and uh, say things about about our society. There's also a funnier way of doing the same thing, you know. Because I think at the same time, it, it, both crafts can serve the same purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's there's no limit to how one can do it. But it's also sometimes about the artist that I would like to feel happy when I see people happy, but at the same time telling them the truth. So sometimes I can go raw and be serious about drama and stuff yeah. and act. But um, for now, I said, let me go back to doing jokes and make people laugh. Of course, some people don't like it when you say jokes, but it, it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give us ticket prices. What are the your show times? I mean, the, the ticket for the 22nd are 60, uh, and probably at that price, we're selling what, a rent uh, joke. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, um, so it's a, it's a full show. And then the, the idea is to take it on the road and the tickets will vary as in, in different venues. Um, from, from here, we, we're in Cape Town, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully in April, uh, we're still booking dates. I mean, part of the tour is to try and find independent producers as we go along and independent comics that are trying to break through, you know, because uh, Philip is award winning and I'm with the award winning yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, I'm trying to make people award winning. Emerging comedians. Uh, no, we're not emerging. <laughs> we are surface. We're yeah. changing, you know, because um, mainstream is relative, plus mainstream is broke, you know. So we. We're also trying to create an alternative, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like, people can always have to. Buy, wait for the DVD to be out okay. to come and watch a show. Mm. How about the show goes straight to them, yeah. into their hood, you know? Yeah. Before yeah. we get uh, plagiarized or, or bootlegged, uh, yeah. we want them to say, I, I want to buy this because I had the joke first. Yeah. 
Okay, guys. Twenty uh, second of February. Jokes for sale. Twenty second here. Yeah, twenty second at three o'clock at the Jobek Theatre. The mm -hmm. uh, uh, they can go on online and pre-buy. Man, black people must pre-buy. It's good to pre-buy. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the Jobek Theatre website. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Much of what I'm is the producer as well as Philip Dikota, who's the <laughs> author and comedian. Jokes for sale. Twenty second of February. Let's take.